A 50-year-old inmate who died at Metro Corrections on Sunday is the second in custody death this month. And to address this crisis, Metro Corrections FOP says new jail director Jerry Collins will have to take a hard look at what needs to change. There are those who, you know, suffer mental distress because of these things. I mean, it's, it's a dead human being who we are in charge of. Between November and March, eight inmates jailed at Metro Corrections have died. Nearly half of those deaths are being investigated as suicides, but Metro Corrections FOP spokesperson Tracy Dotson says the latest death Sunday night of Barry Williams Sr. is believed to be from a drug overdose. All of those problems need to be rooted out because we can't have the amount of contraband in this jail that exists. We just, we just can't. Dotson believes inmates are getting illegal drugs through mail, other inmate work aids, and possibly crooked staff. And while there are plans for a jail K-9 unit and new body scanner equipment to address this problem. To try to get a handle on these things, but, you, but you're talking about, uh, we're talking about, you know, systematic change in how we approach uh, everything from searches to mental health um, residents. And Dotson says new jail director Jerry Collins will be key to correcting the jail's long-standing issues, starting with investing in employees, who Dotson says may feel undervalued and show a lack of interest in their jobs. You see a lot of that, well, maybe I don't need to make this extra round because nobody's really going to notice. And I think you're going to see a, a huge uptick in people actually caring about their jobs if they have a leadership that cares about them. Leadership that is expected to bring a new approach to turn around conditions for inmates and staff. And Dotson says it's past time. We're way past the point. Uh, some people are saying we've reached the point. We passed that point in December uh, where we need to take a hard look at some processes. In Louisville, Alexis Matthews, WOKY News. Alexis, thank you. The inmate's exact cause of death is still pending tonight. He was just sentenced to 24 years in prison on various charges, including domestic violence.